Hello, this is Sim Racing Corner. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to make this Raspberry Pi Sim Racing dashboard display. The Raspberry Pi is powered by USB and the telemetry software is SimHub running on the PC and piped through to a web browser on this Pi, which is sporting a three and a half inch touch screen display. And before we dive in, just a quick word to say thanks for watching this video and visiting my YouTube channel. If you find this video useful, please hit the like to support the channel and consider subscribing. Okay then, this is a straightforward project. There are links in the description below the video for the various hardware and software components we're going to be using. The first job is to assemble the case around the Raspberry Pi. Uh, loosely screw down the Raspberry Pi to the base as you need a little slack to poke the edges of the Pi through the cutouts. The case clips together and you need to take care as the clips on the edges are quite fragile and I managed to snap one off during my assembly uh, so just be a little bit careful. Uh, once all the pieces are connected you can tighten down the nuts holding the Pi to the base and finally plug in the screen. The hardware is ready so we can put that aside for the moment and we now need to install the operating system onto the SD card. We are using Etcher to write the Raspberry operating system onto the SD card. Just drag and drop the image file into the window and select the SD card. Uh, this will take a few minutes to complete so just sit back and uh, relax. Once you flash the SD card, pop it into the Raspberry Pi and when you power it on for the first time, nothing will happen on the touch screen. Don't worry, this is quite normal. Uh, we first need to install the drivers to make this work and we'll do that right now. Hook up your Raspberry Pi to a monitor and plug in a mouse and keyboard as you would for normal operation and power on the Raspberry Pi by plugging in the USB power. The operating system will take a few moments to launch. As this is the first time we've launched this freshly installed operating system, run through the steps shown on screen for connecting the Pi to your Wi-Fi network and install any updates that may be available. If there are any updates, a reboot will be required. Open the Chromium web browser and also have SimHub running on your PC so we can test the dashboards are working. In the browser window, enter the following into the URL bar. The SimHub interface will load in the browser window so you know it's working and at this point don't forget to bookmark the page. Open the console terminal window and copy and paste the text shown here into the terminal window and press return. Uh, you can copy this text directly from the video description. This script will download the drivers for the touchscreen display and set it up for you. The Raspberry Pi will reboot after this and your 3.5 inch display will now be working. You can now disconnect the monitor, keyboard and mouse from the Raspberry Pi. Technically, you now have a working Raspberry Pi SimHub dashboard. Um, however, there is one more step as the SimHub dashboard will appear slightly too large for the screen and run off the right hand edge. So let's open one of the dashboards and I'll demonstrate this problem. When we go full screen, uh, we are missing the right hand edge of the dashboard. And here's one I've corrected. As you can see, the dashboard is completely in view. Next, I'll show you how to quickly fix this in the SimHub software. Open the SimHub interface window on your PC and go to the dashboards. Duplicate your chosen dashboard. Find the copied dashboard in the list and click more and edit dashboard. Go to the dashboard properties tab and change the width to 1340. Finally, save your changes and close the window. And simply repeat the same process for any other dashboards you want to try out. And there you have it, the Raspberry Pi SimHub dashboard. So we're going to end the video here. I'll be back soon with something new, so stay tuned.
and thanks again for watching. Happy simming out there and bye bye for now.